Welcome to this week's painting update. Um, just a really quick one this week with only six miniatures to show you um, because I'm currently working on my Northwest Frontier infantry um, and because I'm doing the prep work uh, in, in one big batch it's going to be a number of days before there's anything finished to show you. So um, here we go then. These are cauldron born Chaos Miniatures from Fenris Games. These were a Kickstarter that I didn't back. Um, so they're on general release now and I bought them from the Fenris shop. Um, obviously you should rush out and buy some, but um, Fenris is a uh, moving location at the moment, so there will be a bit of a delay. Um, however, I'm sure he'll appreciate the, the business and uh, Ian's a, a fine chap. These are all metal miniatures and they're quite sizable. These big guys here are on uh, 40 millimeter bases. Um, as you can see, they have several uh, fleshy pustules hanging off them. Um, I must admit, these took me a long time to do because there's a lot going on with these miniatures and um, it wasn't always clear what was what? Here's the guy with an actual cauldron, which appears to have his guts going into it. Um, so uh, I did end up repainting quite a few bits and pieces when I realised that they were separate to what I thought they were. Um, this guy, as you can see, he's got a sort of two-headed pet bird. Um, he has some horns to stick on, but I couldn't find a decent way of attaching them, so I left them off. I think he looks okay. Uh, do his back as well. They're just uh, so there's three of these um, big, big guys, and then a couple of lesser ones. I got uh, chap here with a two-handed sword. Again, he's got the dangly flesh pouches, which are very, uh, very becoming. Uh, this guy's nice with his hood and his sensor and. Uh, no actual weapon. And then finally there was this little extra guy. Whoops, move him across. Little extra guy, little hangman. Um which I think was a stretch goal or something, but I ordered him as well. Now as well as these, there's an awful lot of um Chaos Dwarves and things in the range, which I didn't get because I'm not a dwarf fan. Um and then I've added to my bases, I've added these uh maggots and grubs. Uh, these are from Garrison Miniatures. You probably can't get them anymore. This guy has a, a sort of, I don't know what that is, but you know, same thing. Um, those of you that have been following my hobby updates for some time will may recognise that these bugs all came off uh, the base of a Mantis Warrior that I rebased earlier in the year. So... Um, so I hung on to them and, and they've been put to good use. There we go. So six cauldron born miniatures from Fenris Games. I chose my colours for these because I wanted them to match with these uh, mutant mutated peasants that I got earlier in the year. Um, and so when all my, oh, sorry jogging the camera so when all my mutated peasants join them there'll be some still photos of these but they should make quite a fantastic chaosy band of um wandering um i don't know how you describe them as a as a collective noun um wandering unfortunates i think would be the term so um Anyway, there's a dozen or so of these little guys, including some really, really tiny ones. Uh, there we go. Um, right, so that's it for this week. Um, Cauldron Born. As always, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to say I wasn't going to start doing this, but I've got 150, over 150 subscribers now, which for me is a big number. This is never going to be a big channel. So if you do like this, please hit the subscribe and the like button and leave a comment. They're nice. Um, that helps the channel grow. Um, 
and although I don't intend to ever monetize this, it is it is soothing to the ego to have lots of views. So um, thank you in advance for doing all that. Right, there we go. Um, I'll see you next time.